And over at the state capitol, hundreds gathered to rally against school vouchers ahead of the state legislature's third special session tomorrow. Jessica Rivera with our sister station in Austin has more on the message that those at the rally want to send to Governor Abbott. Let's give it up for public education. Fellow Texans gathered together at the steps of the Capitol Saturday afternoon with a message to Governor Greg Abbott. special session on taxpayer funded vouchers called for on Monday, October 9th. Public educator advocates want voters to vote no on private school vouchers. The question right now shouldn't be about private school vouchers. There should be better quality of education and better financial support of the public education system. In a statement, Governor Greg Abbott says in part, together we will chart a brighter future for all Texas children by empowering parents to choose the best education option for their child. But during Saturday's rally, advocates believe vouchers will harm the community. Every organizational structure, public schools in Texas have their own set of complications. However, if I could go back and start all over again, I would still choose to enroll in public education. Leander Our ISD Superintendent Bruce Gearing booth. spoke at the you rally he says also, vouchers take away accountability. In Leander ISD, we are fully transparent. Unlike private schools, we are governed by locally elected board of trustees who make decisions in meetings that are open to the public. Advocates were asked to bring Boots to the rally to leave a statement, boot the vouchers and save Texas public schools. After the rally, advocates left those boots at the governor mansion's gates. Right, here we are with Access Education, Round Rock ISD, and we're here to send a message to Governor Greg Abbott. We're saying we're going to give the boot to vouchers, and we're supporting our public education. Fully fund our Round Rock ISD schools. At the Capitol, I'm Jessica Rivera, Fox News.